to the human mind, it seems almost impossible. But spend time with the Isaiah family, and they'll soon convince you that with God, all things are possible. The moment you see an orphan's eyes, I promise it will change your life. Ten years ago, Svetlana lived with a dark past. Evgeny was a drug addict and HIV positive. Both had a radical encounter with Jesus Christ that changed their lives forever. I began to search for God. I could see the path that I needed to go on. The couple's dream? To see their nation of Ukraine without orphans. If someone told me 10 years ago I would have these many children and would be married to an HIV-positive man, I would say that's humanly impossible. But God birthed in us something special. Svetlana and Evgeny became the first family in Ukraine to adopt a child with HIV. Not just one, seven HIV-positive children. If we want to see a Ukraine without orphans, Christians have to be a part of the solution. And Christians are answering the call. Svetlana joined hundreds of pastors and Christian leaders from different parts of the globe in Kyiv recently for a summit on orphan care. Organizer Ruslan Maluta leads a grassroots movement committed to care for Ukraine's orphans. God said that he is the father of the fatherless, which means that he wants every orphan to be in a family. Uh, how is God going to do it? It's through the church. Adoption and providing a home for orphans is an integral part of the gospel. And this is a crowd that is very serious about seeing a Ukraine without orphans sitting in the crowd. There are about 160 families that have either adopted a Ukrainian child or are today our foster parents. Gennady Munenko is one of them. He's a pastor, and along with his wife, they have 31 foster children. Should all families take 31 children in like we did? No. But if this movement is to have a lasting impact, Christian leaders must set the example, and they are. The last few years, God has been moving on the hearts of pastors to lead the charge. Paul Pennington is very encouraged by what he sees happening in Ukraine. The potential here is huge because the church is engaged across denominational lines to be a really a model to countries around the world how the church can make a difference for children. Pennington is with Hope for Orphans, a Texas group helping Ukrainian churches with Bible-based orphan ministries. Pennington has six children, five of whom are adopted. The only way to reach 140 million orphans around the world is through the church, because only the church is big enough, only the church has the power and the mandate to reach that many children in a sustained way. Pastors in Russia, Belarus, Romania, and Moldova have started similar Nation Without Orphans movements. What an honor to be in a room West Stafford, full. president of Compassion International, says he's moved by the pastor's dedication to the vision. They do it with an understanding that God commits to bless orphans and those who do bless orphans. To see an audacious vision uh, that these guys actually are qualified to talk about because they're, they're doing it. Steve Weber calls the movement a miracle. Weber leads CBN's Ukraine office, which has an active Orphans Promise outreach. 20 years ago, uh, there was such a stigma against the orphan uh, that Christians would fake pregnancy by carrying a pillow before they would take an orphan. Today, we're preaching, take the orphans home in our churches. And the public is taking note. At a nationally televised event that drew Ukraine's rich and famous, Svetlana and Yevgeny received hero status and honored with the Pride of the Nation Award for their heart for orphans. There was hardly a dry eye in the crowd as people stood and applauded. We didn't think about any awards. We simply were doing what was on our hearts to do. We have only God to thank. He shows us how to love the unlovable. Without Him, we have no life. Without Him, my children have no hope. Without him, the orphans of Ukraine have no hope. George Thomas, CBN News, Kyiv, Ukraine.